All right, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where today we are still in the same pickle we were at the end of the last episode. Um, I actually haven't done anything. <laughs> I haven't tried to get us out. I haven't tried to find a way through the the, the woods. Can't even turn on the Ford because the Ford's out of fuel. Um, so we are going to continue slowly inching ourselves through this map. So we get some solid ground that we can stand on. Problem is, is I feel like I'm going towards it and then I don't. Ah, the, the day of frustrating. Okay, at least I don't slide back now. We're getting closer. We are just, we are clearing a path <laughs> through all this ice. Alright, let's connect there. Let's go back to view one. I, it, or view, I like how I call this view one. Um, first person view. It seems to work better in this view. Um, although now I can't see what I'm doing. That's a little bit more promising. We're gonna stay in low. That seems to be the best. Dude, do we gotta cross this river? We do have to cross the river. No. Yes. No. Yes. I don't know. Do we? Yes. Yes. I think we cross this river. You know what? I say we just do it. Where's the best spot to cross? That is the million dollar question because we will break through all this ice. Let's... Oh, there we go. We can catch that. I don't think... Ah, uh, we might have some issues trying to winch this truck through. Across this river. Get me across this river. <laughs> Was that where the road is? That is that is where that road is. Hmm. Yeah. It really isn't a good spot to get up and over there. I think if we just we follow the shore bank, or the bank of the shore. We should be able to get up this with little effort. Things you do to try to get a free truck. All right, hard right turn. All right, I'm just I'm just glad we're moving. I'm glad we're out of that water. Oh man. Uh, now the problem is I have no clue where the road is. We are just gonna avoid things like concrete and what are those metal framed X things were. 
I forgot what they called those, jumping jacks, something, something along those lines. All right, so now the road. Oh yeah, we are. What, how are we way off the road? The road apparently went through between those two columns, or triangles, whatever you want to call them. I mean, they look like they would be winch points, but I bet you they're not. Not even gonna bother to look. Uh, what do we have here? This is all rock. I think we go between them. Yeah, I think we go between it. Kind of make out some old tracks, so. Okay, and then the track swing back around. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do this multiple times. This this bunker raid is just a one and done kind of thing. The uh, the worst part is we're getting kind of low on fuel. We're getting to about 50%. <clears throat> and there's no fuel in sight whatsoever. Um, that one goes up there. Is that fuel? It does not look like a trailer. Hmm. We gotta go way over there. And yeah, I think we gotta we gotta scoot across this thing. Hmm. Wow. We sure did pick a funny way to do this. Hmm. All right, I think. Uh... I think we're going to be able to get up there with this truck. Yeah, that looks like it's a... Uh, that looks like it's a pretty tough climb for a large truck. <clears throat> so, scout vehicle. <laughs> we will we will have to do that with the scout vehicle and hope that the... Uh, the mission is not... something that we need a large truck for. Let's lay this out, because these trails are not all marked. I think we're passing an upgrade too, so we might swing by and grab that. <clears throat> we're definitely not going to be able to do that. Jeez, can I even get up? Can I get this through here? Let's go find out. Huh. Um. We may have a problem here. I think this is a scout trail. Yeah, this may be a scout trail. Oh, 
we're going up and over. Are we? We're not going up and over. <sighs> this is not... This is not a trail. Can I get over this rock? I'm just gonna have to force my way through here. Of course, now I'm out of range for this board, so we gotta back up. And the bigger problem is the board is going to want to cut in. We gotta go around these rocks. There we go. Or these uh these trees. Okay. What were they thinking when they said you could do this? <laughs> like seriously? Maybe if I had unlimited gas. And then they throw these big chunks of rocks in front of you, so you can't get over them very easily. Okay, so we have an upgrade there. And that is pure ice. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. EJ, this is your fault if I can't get up this hill. It is just, it is, yep, pure ice. Engageable all wheel drive for the Ford? No, the GMC, oh. That's, a, that's like the first truck we ever had in this game. That's kinda crazy. All right, cool. We that truck finally has all-wheel drive. All right, let's see if we can get up. <laughs> Surprise! All right, let's shoot for this side. Stay off the blue stuff. Stay on the white stuff. There we go. Grip, 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 grip. I could winch onto those trees, but all right, EJ, you're lucky. You uh, you pass this time. Or something. <laughs> I'm actually shocked I got out out of there. That actually wasn't it wasn't too bad. All right, where's my marker? There's only six trees around here. Why is it not? There we somebody tell me there's a mod or something that will automatically snap to vehicles first? Um, crawl through here. We have 41 gallons of fuel left. This is going to be interesting. I got to go up that? I think go down. That is definitely a scout trail. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. Below. That may be the hard part. Now the hard part is going to be not falling off. Oh no, we hurt the truck. Come on, Ford. There you go. Oh no, crap. Gotta love it when you hit the wrong button.
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I gotta be able to get the forder on that too? Nope, the forward's going off the cliff. Hey, Ford, you're staying right on my butt. what they call this, but it is literally like cat spying. You're kidding, right? I see our way off. Oh, <laughs> wow, that was in, that was intense. Um, tell me, I still have a fork. Good. All right, so they're saying the road goes down. I'm saying the road goes around. <laughs> I I don't want to go down there at all. There does look like some trailers and maybe a truck. Um, yeah, there's a truck and a trailer down there. Wonder what that's all about. If I had more gas, I would go check it out. Crap, maybe, maybe, maybe I should check it out. Maybe the truck has gas in it. All right, where, where are we here? I do kind of have to go in that direction. It also feels like I could easily go out and around. I'm going to leave the Ford. Doesn't look too bad to get back up. Tell me this is muddy. Okay, this is actual water. Ugh. Okay, new trailer, good. And the Oxerone. Oh, so we did discover the truck. Good. Tell me it has gas. <laughs> There's no gas. It's technically hooked up to a trailer that we can't even use. Okay, stop engine, change trucks. You're out of fuel, so you're you're useless. You're absolutely useless to me. Um there yeah. There's just no there's no fuel. There's no fuel on this map whatsoever. Uh, let's recover this. We've uh, could kind of customize it, but well, that's a big difference. What's the tire difference? Eh, four inches. I don't think. Uh, never mind. Uh, do, 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 do. Look at all these tires. There's a lot of tires for this thing. Ooh, there's flirtations. I like them. 
I think everyone knows that I like flotation tires. I don't know why. I just do. Oh, that's 47? Oh, crap. You can go to 47 inch tires? Nice. Alright, well, we're going to throw those on just for fun. And chains. Yeah, chains are chains. It's fine. Um. Yeah, so this is this is a scout vehicle. Interesting. But no extra fuel. That's not fun. Let's see what the sideboard does. Oh. What? Is this a scout vehicle? This cannot be a scout vehicle. It is the size of a scout vehicle. Small fuel trailer, 238 is not anything to spit at. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta check something. Wait. What is it? Okay, let's go to the truck store. That one's the scout. No, 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 no. Okay, it's not a scout trailer. I didn't think it was. This thing is this little tiny truck. This this might come in handy. I don't know how. It it feels it seems to drive weird though. Kind of strange, but oh yeah, let's put all-wheel drive on. That would help, and we can go diff lock. This this might be a pretty cool truck. Um, It's gonna be lightweight, so it shouldn't break through that blue ice. All that ice that we had troubles with, it shouldn't break through though, especially with these tires. I kinda wanna go test that out right now for some reason. Uh, something fun to do. We're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna throw ourselves off that cliff. Oh, wow. Okay, there was a rock there. Okay, so be careful of large rocks because it uh, it definitely throws you around. And I didn't really upgrade it, upgrade this. I just threw on a suspension and bigger tires. That's, that's all I did. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just going where the cold wind blows. Uh, where are we going here? We're kind of actually, you know what? <laughs> We're pretty much heading right towards where we need to go. This is an impromptu um, fuel delivery, I guess. Let's let's see if we can make it. I, I'm I'm a little nervous about this river. I don't know where I can cross this river. I guess farther back. Down here maybe. We're kind of opening up a lot of the map too. <laughs> right, that looks like a decent. Wow. I say decent cross. It's not. But it looks like we can hand cross. Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay. Looking good. Um, that hurt a little bit. Where are we going? We gotta go. Let's stop there. Ah, 
Um. Yeah, it looks like we can just head straight for it. I may have just found our new uh, fuel truck. <laughs> it's not a lot of fuel. But it's quick, it's easy, it's dirty, it's actually pretty good. I probably should have spent a little bit more time upgrading it. Uh, a winch would be nice. It's probably not going to be an, an uh, whatchamacallit winch. Yeah, like there's the Ford. I can probably cut right through there. This may take a little bit of special driving or uh, careful driving, I should say. <laughs> but I might be able to get this back here. Come on, tires. Yeah, if I put a, a slightly different transmission in, we would have low plus. Definitely go a lot faster. Hey, honestly, I, I <laughs> I did not expect this truck to be halfway decent. So this is a this is a pleasant surprise. There's our Ford, uh, which is which is bad because we'd be able to refuel our uh, our dairy if it was here, but it's not. So let's um. Let's just stop there. Whoops. Oh, nice little, nice little horn there. Let's jump back into this. Uh, I gotta figure out. I'm gonna go right. I'm gonna go back up this way. First things first. We might as well since we're here. Uh, do I want to? Let's repair the truck. We have no damage whatsoever now. Let's go ahead and try to haul this trailer out of here. So I don't think I came this way. I have faith in this truck that I can get it up. Oh, look at this thing. This truck is a beast. Well, let's... I suppose we can drop this trailer off right about here. Alright, we don't have to worry about fuel now. <sighs> it is getting pretty late, so I think what we'll do is we will get everything back into position. Uh, which... Yeah, you know what? I'm actually gonna go that way out. <laughs> I was kind of following the other route, but... I think we're gonna patch the winch. We're going to refuel, which feels amazing. Dairy, fill that sucker back up. Ford, let's fill the Ford back up. Let's fill that up. Let's fill up the mount. Let's fill up the pickup bed. 
We're bringing all the fuel with us. That is that is why that truck is a mobile fuel tank because because uh, it is almost empty now. And all we got to do is return it. Uh, but let's do this first. Let's skip to morning. And let's try to figure out. We got to go this way. I think I'm just gonna ride the ridge that way. It looks pretty minimal as far as large trees, so we should be able to get through. And we can pick up some speed by going into uh, low plus, blocking the differential. It looks like we're getting another truck today. That's that's two trucks. That's that's pretty impressive. Um, I'm I'm glad I decided to uh, go after that. Um, I don't even know what it was. The Axion. I think I'm saying that right. I don't know why I try to say it with a French accent. It just looks like it should be said with a French accent. The Axion, which is pretty much the same as saying Axion. So. Eh, who knows? All right, let's drop this Ford off. Let's get. Oh, let's get to keep a new vehicle. Uh, a bit heavier though. Anyways, thanks for your help. Sweet. Thank you. Stop engine. Change trucks. So, ironically, this truck is useless right now. There is no way he got this truck out that far with no all-wheel drive. Like, I don't care what dually it is, it's not getting through this stuff. Alright, well let's recover this. Because basically the truck is pointless until you uh, start doing some customizing. Okay. Well, it looks like um, there's another upgrade for this truck. And I'm going to go with that engine because I have it. Let's sell one of those. Gearbox, custom, suspension. Ooh. You know what? I'm just going to go with raised. Uh, we've got some big old tires. I'm not sure what tires are going to be the best. Uh, remember the tires that looked like BF Goodwrench all-terrain tires? Alright, I'm going to randomly pick a mud tire. I'm going to go with that one. Probably the wrong one. Autonomous scout winch, of course. No, no, no. I don't. I don't want to snorkel at all, do I? All-wheel drive. Oh, we gotta find it. Okay, so yeah, this truck is going to be useless, and apparently all the upgrades here are for this truck. So, um, it's at least good to know. Look at this thing. I wonder why this thing's used a lot. You got a big old add-on. You get another big old add-on. I don't even know how much fuel we have in this thing. That's useless. That's useless. Like, look at this thing. This thing looks like a tank. Uh, did I miss something? Nope. Rooftop. Yeah, don't need a flasher bar. No, thank you. Um, yeah, that kind of... Uh, uh, I wish they cleaned up that intersection there, but um, yeah, let's let's go for that. Why not? Oh, let's see what the other one is. No, definitely that one. 
uh, miscellaneous. I don't know what it's doing. Brown beacon. Yeah, no, thank you. Um, those probably look the best. Front with the front visor. Ooh, yeah, let's do the sun visor. Exhaust. Ooh, I think. Think. Ooh. Oh, I was gonna go flappy, but it's only one side, so yeah, it's gonna be rolled out. Or out rolled. Rams? Rams, rams, rams. Kinda like these ones. We're gonna go with those. The color. Oh, that's that's just fancy. The color, I kinda wanna go. I kind of like the old school blue, like this one. Those are probably too bright. That's too. That's too monochromatic. Um, although I do like the white too. Oh, wow. Ah, I think I'm gonna go with the old school blue. This this kind of looks like a good color. Don't think this can take trailers. Well, there's a hitch there. Uh, let's go find out. Find out real quick. I mean, the, the truck is pretty much staying put. Because it does not have all wheel drive yet. But I do want to see if we can put trailers on this thing. Because if you can, if you can bring scout fuel trailer with this um yeah we can we can drive the entire map probably oh it's so it's so bad not having <laughs> like this guy did not drive that truck that far out if he did he did it in summer when it was all melted and it was just grass uh the trailer stores over there of course it is Drive over some pallets. Yeah. Now oh, that's a truck. Didn't even get damaged. All right. Moment of truth. Do we have trailers with this vehicle? Do. Well, that's that's just wrong. Like I can haul that fuel carrier. Like no. Is this not a scout? Because these are not scout trailers. Like, look at that setup. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Let's just let's just put the trailer back. Let's recover. Let's get back to uh, the dairy. And uh, look at there's three. There's three tasks just here alone. Show task, set task, start tracking. Sorry about that, I had to sneeze. I prefer to not sneeze in the microphone just because it uh, can blow some people's eardrums out if they're wearing headphones. Um, okay, look at that. We have the R sitting right there. Did I steal all the fuel out of the R? Kind of. Um. Okay, we apparently have fuel, I think. Okay, let's, um. Let's grab. No, I had it done right the first time. Darn it. Let's grab fuel, put it in the roof rack. We're gonna detach that trailer and throw it away. 
and we are going to take care of all these things over here. So we actually have to turn around. I'm hoping that should get us through this episode. I'm going to have vehicles all over the place <laughs> on this map. Um, hopefully I won't have trailers all over the place, but... Uh, Yeah, and I, I keep wanting to do like a cleanup mission where I go to older maps and, and get maybe one or two subscribers, get them to help me uh, just pick up trailers for the episode, see how well that goes. Maybe do it in a live stream, I don't know. Um, yeah, remember when I avoided this area? This is why. Go explore a community center, a remote house, a ranger's cabin, and a house with a garden. How are we going to know? How are we going to know there's a house with a garden over there? I got to be careful because we have no trees to winch onto. Am I coming up to the first? Nope. Alright, so the ranger's cabin is right there. Probably shouldn't have come up this way, but you know what? There's a trail there. We gotta get out of this mud or the snow. I, I, I'm thinking I did not get the right tires. Uh, let me guys know if the stock tires for this vehicle are better, or uh, if there's a better tire for the R86. Let me know in the comments, and I will upgrade to those or change out to those once we get back to the garage because right now I'm, I'm feeling that I'm not rocking best tires that is definitely slowing us down to the point where I should just be winching onto everything All right. I think I just gotta get to that can't really see a bounding box there, but you know what? it is what it is. Come on, get through. I think slower is faster. Okay, now I see the it's, it's a light blue. It blends in really well. Alright, let's just go straight for it. Uh, sometimes this game is so slow. I feel like if I had a rubber band, I could just wrap it around the controller and then just give her. <laughs> and then maybe go take a break, go get a bite to eat. Because to turn around, this is going to take me about a half an hour. And we gotta go way over there to get the rest of the stuff, so... This is not great. Not great at all. Um, if I winch front... Nope. Oh wait, but that's why. Silly me. Should be a road somewhere here. That looks like it's straight. Let me head left. Oh, kind of follow the telephone poles, I think.
Again, maybe I should change the transmission in this thing to like a low plus. I don't know if that would help. It may. It may help. <clears throat> Alright, we got a mark there, marker there. I'm thinking community center, then house with a garden. Yeah. I want that telephone pole. It looks like we are in a, on a snowbank that is about 10 feet tall. Come on, can I not attach to the... Okay, I can't attach to the telephone pole or the light street, street light. Like, yeah, you definitely gotta go slow and slow. Still can't get to it. Yeah, this is this is definitely the time where I go get a snack or something, and then we do a magic speed, <laughs> and we just speed it up because this is uh this is kind of ridiculous. I think I've spent the last seven minutes trying to get through the snow. I mean, we're moving, so like, suppose that's a good sign. There we go. Oh, I just need something to winch on to. It's crazy that the, the snow here is blue. But I think it's fading away. It's a little sad. Can't really tell if it's fading or not. Come on, we should be through. Come on, get over here. There we go. Decent amount of movement. And then we get stuck in snow again. Come on. Okay, got that one. Start backing out. There, no, there's two left. But yeah, let's hit that one over there first. I think we'll be able to winch if we need it. So far the snow looks pretty good. Um, that is incredibly deep and steep. Which one's going to be easier? I feel like House with a Garden is going to be a pain in the butt to get to. I want to make sure that I went onto something that I can get up and over. There we go. I like how the, the winch line goes over the train. Where in reality it would totally go through the snow. Right hand turn on the trees. Oops. I was going to blow the fence away, but. 
Alright, so that wasn't too bad to get to. I think what I'm going to do is follow my tracks out. And then head down the road, because the road should be a lot faster than... ...than cutting through all the snow. We are slowly running out of time, so I think this may be our last, uh, we'll get to this, uh, remote house and we'll probably call it an episode. We'll have to, uh, see how long it takes us to get there, though. Oh, wow, this is an actual road people have traveled on. Oh, there we go. That makes more sense. So they give you that little bit of hope that you can uh, fly through this area. And I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to uh, recover back to the garage when this is through. Gotta make multiple turns here. There's actual mud. This is amazing. It's good. I'm glad. All right, and that was done. Returning would be this hard. I don't know what was I expecting to see. Woohoo! All right, well, that's now done. Uh, what other tasks? Let's let's actually go back to not the Zika, not the Axion. It is the dairy. There's a trailer store here. I had no clue. Oh, that's a good sign. That is a good sign. We can repair, we can refuel. Oh. There we go. I mean, I know it's not much, but I just had to do it. Uh, let's let's think. Let's. Uh, there's two other missions around here. Let's see if what we're gonna get ourselves into. That's the first one. So let's go hit that. All right. So um, I guess let's start. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, these are all over the place. All right, well, cool. Let's um, let's see what the other mission was. Yeah, supply delivery. <clears throat> Rural spelunker. Spelunker. Yes, I know that's cave diving. I don't know why. Well, not cave diving, but cave exploring. Um, let's accept this one and start tracking. Okay, this is a standard, normal thing that we have to do. We gotta still go way over here. That is insane, the amount of, of map that we still have not uncovered. Okay, but I suppose the good thing is... This wasn't too bad to get across. We do have a fuel tanker here. Uh, we got five minutes. Oh, crap. <laughs> Wait, where's my... Oh, there it is. How long will it take us to get this back? Let's stop the engine here. Go back to the yard. Let's see if we can get this back in a decent time to the uh, trailer scanner. Am I even going the right way? 
Uh, no, because I gotta go this way. I just went down the hill. I was supposed to go up. Love how when I'm in this view, I can pretty much connect to any winch point I want. I wish this is how it worked on the outside view. I know I've said that a couple times, but it really should. There we go. Let's get up this hill. Little little sidetrack there went the wrong went the wrong way. I guess that's the uh, benefit of doing it in first person. You really do get to pick your winch points pretty accurately. We can just go straight. Slowly winter ourselves through. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Ah, that one. Oh yeah, you can't winch onto that one. Shoot. Okay, we got a big pine. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, I knew that wasn't going to survive. That one's not going to survive. That one's not going to survive. That one's not. Is there any trees over there that I can actually winch to? Oh, I'm going to say no. Okay, so the, the blue didn't fade away, but it's strange. Can I not attach to that? Yeah, I can't. At least give me... Oh, I can attach to it. Thanks. Oy vey. Alright, um... It's funny, people probably think I'm Jewish, but I'm not. I do use that oy vey word. I think it's because I can't... I, I try not to swear when I do these and in obviously in real life I, I swear like a pirate um, but on here I can't so I just I you know I say oy vey for some reason I do have Jewish friends that use it around me quite a bit <laughs> but um, yeah maybe that's probably where I get it from all right so where are we going we still gotta go straight okay we're getting to the road Oh, there we go. Somebody actually thought this like three or four weeks ago. It hasn't snowed since. Oh, this is this is music to my ears. Was I supposed to go that way? Shoot. Um, probably technically maybe. Come on, let's just go up this way. We're going to turn and just head down the hill. This vehicle should be able to go downhill with no little to no problems. Okay, we are over our one hour minute, so I'm gonna start signing off. So if you guys like this episode, please like and subscribe. 
Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do that. I do have, I think, 80% of my viewers have subscribed, so I would like to get some uh, new viewers in that uh, would love to subscribe. And uh, yeah, we will uh, we'll see you in the next episode where I will have the radar truck hopefully attached and then hopefully we'll uh, figure out a plan to get out of here because the way I went before is going to take forever. So uh, hopefully, actually, you know what? It might not be too bad because I am in a scout vehicle and we shouldn't break through the ice very often. We'll, we probably will break through the ice, but we shouldn't do it very often. But uh, anyways, we'll uh, see you in the next episode. Bye for now.